HBO's Watchmen series is full of mysteries and puzzle boxes, and few characters are more confounding and mysterious than Ozymandias. His story has been unfolding to the side of other main characters, so it can be difficult to nail down just when Vite scenes are taking place. With season one wrapped up, and with the help of PDpedia, it's time for a full breakdown of Watchmen's Ozymandias timeline from 1985 to 2019. 1985 is the year in which the original comic takes place, and it's also the earliest point at which we see Jeremy Irons as Adrian Veidt in Season 1. As part of his long-term plan for saving humanity from itself, Veidt manipulates events so that left-leaning actor Robert Redford will be elected president in 1992. So confident events will unfold as predicted, he even pre-records a video message for President Redford to be viewed after his inauguration in January 1993. As he's recording his message, though, Veidt is unaware one of his assistants, Bion, is stealing a sample of his sperm. Shortly after recording that message, Vite drops his genetically engineered squid monster on New York, killing millions and bringing a swift end to the Cold War. Vite continues quietly working on his plans for saving the world, donating large sums of money to progressive causes and the Democratic Party, and helping set the stage for a blue wave in the 1992 election that will finally end Richard Nixon's stranglehold on the presidency. During this time, rumors circulate that Vite himself is responsible for orchestrating the alien squid attack. However, because these rumors are being reported by less than credible outlets like the New Frontiersman, most Americans dismiss them as outlandish hoaxes. 1993 is when Veidt's careful planning begins to fall apart. President Redford immediately works to loosen Veidt's grip on U.S. politics, passing the Campaign Finance Reform and Donor Disclosure Act of 1993, and dulling Veidt's ability to influence policy with his wealth. Meanwhile, with the public fearful of any and all Dr. Manhattan-derived technology, Veidt Enterprises' electric car patents become worthless. Veidt further squanders his resources by pursuing the failed Millennium by Veidt initiative, an effort to usher in a new technological utopia. Veidt Enterprises recovers much of its former wealth and power by licensing Veidt's genetic engineering technology, resulting in the pet cloning facility seen in the TV series. Despite this, Veidt becomes increasingly reclusive, inviting comparisons to Howard Hughes. In 2007, Veidt makes his final public appearance, accepting a civilian commendation from the government of Kenya commemorating his actions as a costume hero. 23 years after his staged alien squid attack, Veidt has become a total recluse, hiding away in his Antarctic fortress of Karnak and continuing to orchestrate periodic squid storms across the world. His solitude is interrupted by Lady True, who comes to pay her father a visit and seek his help in constructing a device capable of stealing Dr. Manhattan's power. Veidt dismisses her, telling True to earn her own fortune just as he did his. And I will never call you daughter. A desperately lonely Vite is paid a visit by Dr. Manhattan, who recently returned to Earth after working to create a new paradise on Europa. Manhattan seeks a way of becoming mortal and starting a new life with Angela Abar. Vite reveals he has just the solution, as his original plot in 1985 hinged on blocking Manhattan's access to his own powers. After giving Manhattan the device and helping set the events of 2019 in motion, wary of life on Earth, Vite allows himself to be transported to Europa. Godspeed. But Europa doesn't turn out to be the paradise Veidt had hoped. By the time of the one year anniversary of his arrival, Veidt is already chafing at his dull new surroundings and plotting his escape. He begins working on a plan to leave an SOS message on the moon's surface, knowing he needs to succeed by the time True's satellite passes overhead. In order to challenge himself, Veidt orders the original version of Mr. Phillips to become his nemesis and work to foil his plans. Veidt celebrates his second anniversary on Europa by staging a play about the origin of Dr. Manhattan. Tears, Trent! Veidt continues harvesting clones of Mr. Phillips and Miss Crookshanks and testing ways of breaching the barrier that protects his country estate from the cold vacuum of Europa. After firing a number of Phillipses and Crookshankses through the barrier, Veidt knows his greatest challenge will be in insulating his crude spacesuit. Back on Earth, True Industries purchases what remains of Vite Enterprises. Representatives are sent to Karnak to gain Vite's approval of the sale, only to find the facility empty and abandoned. Vite is officially declared missing. At some point in between his third and fourth anniversaries on Europa, Vite is successful in killing a bison and completing his spacesuit. 
He launches himself through the barrier and begins arranging the many frozen corpses of Phillips and Crookshanks into a written message, Save Me Daughter. Shortly after the satellite spots the message, Vite is yanked back to the estate and arrested by the masked raider. Veidt's fifth anniversary on Europa is marked by the end of a year-long trial. Veidt is judged guilty by a jury of Phillips's and Crookshanks's and imprisoned in the catacombs of the estate. Veidt celebrates his sixth anniversary in his tiny prison cell with the masked raider bringing him his obligatory cake. Inside the cake, the ever-doting Mr. Phillips has hidden the key to Veidt's escape. Veidt celebrates his seventh anniversary on Europa by completing his escape tunnel and fleeing his prison. He's attacked by the game warden, but in the end, no version of Mr. Phillips can ever fight against his master's wishes. Veidt enters Lady True's escape pod and enters suspended animation. And at some point, between 2016 and 2019, the pod returns to Earth and crash lands on a farm near Tulsa. The same farm True is shown forcibly buying up in Episode 4, as a matter of fact. But even after retrieving the pod, True continues to keep her father trapped in suspended animation and displayed like a statue. Why'd you have them make him so old? Vietnam's governor, Ronnie Ngo Dinh, claims Vite was assassinated by members of the Vietnamese Liberation Front, resulting in a wave of violence and civilian deaths that fuels new demand for Vietnam to secede from the United States. With no leads in many years, Vite is officially declared dead by the U.S. government. Shortly thereafter, Chief Judd Crawford is murdered, causing Agent Lori Blake to be dispatched to Tulsa in the present-day events of the series to get underway. True finally awakens Vite so that he can witness the culmination of her plot to steal Dr. Manhattan's power. Instead, Vite works against her, using his genetically engineered squids to save humanity from almost certain destruction. His reward for saving the world a second time is to be knocked out and arrested by Agent Blake and Looking Glass. That guy talks too much. For more Watchmen coverage, check out what we thought of the season finale, as well as all the clues that led up to the big Dr. Manhattan reveal. And be sure to subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.